Nathan Donnelly with Crop King. We just received our first shipment of bumblebees to pollinate our tomato house this year. They come in the mail. They're in sectories that breed bumblebees specifically for the purpose of pollination in controlled environment agriculture. The reason that we use bumblebees instead of honeybees is honeybees require ultraviolet light to be able to navigate. And we have UV inhibitors in our poly, and then we also have diffusion properties that help scatter the light. Honeybees aren't able to navigate inside of the greenhouse. They get confused, whereas bumblebees navigate using sight like you and I do. So when we get these hives in, like they come UPS overnight. Um, we have to order them a week in advance. Depending on the amount of tomatoes you have, the number of hives you do, a hive can be uh, viable from anywhere to four to eight weeks. Uh, so we will be replacing these hives usually about every six weeks. So you see when we get it here that there is this opening, right? So this is how the bees come in and out and there's this indication that tells you what's going on here, right? So when this is vertical, it's closed. If we turn it all the way down to where this tab is facing all the way down, it's in out, which means they can come and go as they please. And then here we can put it at a one o'clock position and we will be in only. So we, the reason we would wanna do that is if we needed to make a chemical application out in the greenhouse, be that an insecticide or a fungicide, and we don't want our bees to be contacted with that, we set them to in only as the bees are bringing pollen back to the hive. They get trapped in here, and then before I make the application, I will physically pick the hive up, move it out of the greenhouse, make the application the next day, bring them back in, set them to come in and out as they please. First get that hive, we open it up here. There shouldn't be anybody that flies out at me. And what we have to do is that there is sugar water down here in the bottom of this bin. So this is the hive that they come in, right? Little plastic box, ventilated at the top. And if you look inside, you see here that there's this sugar syrup box and there's this cork. So what we have to do is we have to take that cap off and we touch that, make sure that it's wet. So we know that there's sugar that's gonna be wicking up into the box. And we pick this up. And basically, if you look, you see that there's this opening section here. That's where that sugar cork's gonna sit so that they can use their little mouth parts to suck that sugar syrup up to make sure they got the energy that they need to become established. Now we're in the box here. We fold our lid up so that they can get good ventilation. Fold this one down. The bees that we get for our greenhouse here, a different brand than the bees that we sell to our commercial customers. Uh, the reason for that is, is that this particular bee supplier produces hives that are a little bit smaller than what we sell to our customers. The reason for that is, is that a hive from our typical supplier is good for about 5,000 square feet. I've only got about 1,200 square feet, so when I get one of those hives in, there's too many bees. They over-pollinate, which causes stress on the tomatoes that I have here, and we have found that these particular hives just work a lot better for our setup here. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I'd like to put the date so that I have an idea of how long that hive lasted and if it didn't make its four, six, eight weeks like we were expecting it to get to. I'm gonna pull these off and these guys just came UPS, right? So they've been bouncing around in the back of the UPS truck for a day. And you see here on the in hole, it's got this sticker, this paper sticker that's on top of it. So when we turn this to be in and out, what the bees are gonna do is they're gonna find this opening and they're gonna start to chew on that. And then once they chew that sticker off of it, they'll be able to come and go as they please. The reason for that is, is that you've placed the hive in the greenhouse. They now have time to calm down because they're stressed and unhappy because they've been in the mail. If I went through and I peeled this open, the bees came out, they would be upset and I can almost guarantee that they would be stinging people. But once they calm down, as long as they don't feel threatened or that they get squeezed or feel pressure, usually we don't have to worry about anybody getting stuck. So here in about another six weeks, our next hive will come in and that's how we keep our tomatoes pollinated and our fruit cluster setting here at Krupp King.